This is kind of interesting. Check this out. It's snowing on the freeway. I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> it's 36 degrees. And it's May. And this is Arizona. <laughs> That's pretty wild, huh? That is cool. So for those of you guys out there that are not from this area, you know, from the southwest, um, Arizona is not all desert. Arizona has thick green forests and snow. Just a little tip if you come to the Overland Expo at Mormon Lake, there are people that live out here. So there's a small village, this Mormon Lake village. And out of courtesy to the locals here, definitely follow the uh, speed limit and drive the uh, 25 mile an hour speed limit here. They have a, a lodge here you can go um, eat lunch, have dinner, they have a little country store to get supplies. It's really cool. Here we are, Mormon Lake Campgrounds. Check it. This is definitely the show to go to if you like four-wheel drive. If you don't like to get dirty and muddy and wet, then this is probably not something you want to come to. But uh, if this stuff right here is what you like to play in with cool toys, then definitely come out here and check this place out. This is cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm at the uh, Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. Bumped into a Mike here, and uh, he's hanging out with a crew of guys that have these uh, six-wheeler Pinsgauers. Basically, um, I'm assuming these are what, Swiss military? Swiss military. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot of them. I've seen pictures of them, but I've never seen one in person before. Pretty wild. He just drives up, gets in, and camps. There's no, no setup. Now that is an off-road RV right there. This one has some bars on it. So uh, if he bumps into any trees on the trail, he's not gonna damage his vehicle. That's cool. Of course, anything anything you get stuck in, you just use your winch. What is that on top? It's like an AC unit or something. Pretty cool. Got these built-in ladders on the side. Very cool. Oh, he even has a trailer on this one here. Hello, how you doing? Just admiring your setup here. Enjoy. That is That's awesome. Why we're all here, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you know, I think I'm going to be six foot before I walk. <laughs> I know. If you look closely at our boots, we're gaining some okay, inches yeah, yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm getting taller and taller. <laughs> what is this one here called, by the way? It's a half linger. A half linger. It's an older version of the Pinsgowers. Wow, that is cool. These were made first, and then the Pinsgowers came. I've actually later. never seen one of these before. This is my first time seeing yeah, this. Yeah, they brought it in the first overnight expo. We were bopping all around. <laughs> that is awesome. What kind of engines in here? A little two-cylinder. Gas. Uh, yeah, gas motor. Gas motor in there, and it's obviously what? Four. Oh, it's four -wheel drive. It is four-wheel drive. Yeah. And locking differentials. Oh, power. nice, nice. Very cool. We got a thousand pounds. You guys put aftermarket rims on here. Yeah, huh? they're Yamaha Rhino wheels. Like I was just gonna say they look like ATV. Just put some different tires. The originals are 12 inch little skinny ones, like you see spare on yeah. the other side. Yeah, so you got nice tread on there. That is very cool. I like it. How much uh, would this cost if somebody wanted to buy something like that? Anymore now, one good running shape is gonna be at least bring 10. Wow, 10,000. It's a really wet one this year, or at least the day that I'm here. Really wet. Wet and muddy. But if you're an off-roader, then that's kind of the conditions you live for. Oh, there goes some uh, dual sport bikes. Now check these out. Earth cruisers. These are cool. These are designed to uh, collapse down and fit inside a sea container. So you can ship them anywhere in the world. Very cool. Look at that bumper on there. It's a beast. It can protect the windshield too. seen these before but it's always fun to see them again this is cool they have an awning on here but they have an attachment to the awning that kind of weatherproofs it so you can have a tent and expand your living area I don't know if I can go in here or not anybody in there I don't want to I don't want to intrude <laughs> somebody might be changing their clothes 
check this thing out this thing is a beast it is huge look at the clearance on this thing single track humongous tires oh my god that thing is huge that is awesome got the humongous rack on the front of course you know it's kitted out with probably everything you could possibly have that is wild look at that it's got cameras on the outside so you can really see what's in front of you because this thing is so big got the steps there there's the axles no portal axles on these ones but it's so big you don't really need it it's still got crazy ground clearance check this out you guys have seen this before on my channel I, I actually saw this truck at SEMA but I have the owner here Jim who's uh, he runs a website also called survivortruck.com but he's more than that though go ahead and tell the guys out there exactly who you are and what you do we uh, we sort of do it all we do consulting from everything vehicle related we do bunkers shelters we do um, firearms training and, and medical training we teach people how to uh, go off-grid we basically nice. um, you know we kind of do it all we help you with gear selection depending on what it is we'll, we'll help you outfit your 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 rig build packs for you three-day packs mm -hmm. you know, two-week packs whatever whatever you're looking for we build uh, obviously we build big crazy vehicles this vehicle uh, it's my own personal vehicle so it's for um, we do search and rescue we use it as a command vehicle it's a tactical vehicle it's a bug out vehicle it's an overland vehicle but the difference between my vehicle and a lot of the other vehicles out there is I have to be able to take you know a team of guys with me too, so yeah. I can't get by in a smaller vehicle. So making a bigger vehicle that's uh, as efficient as the smaller vehicle is kind of a trick, but that's what we do. We kind of you know we try to cover all the bases and, and not forget mm -hmm. anything. You know, our philosophy has always been that it's better to have it not need it than need it not have it. That, that's my philosophy too. I like that. Check this out. This is a sport chassis. I mean, I don't even know exactly what truck this is. It looks like a Freightliner, but on the hood it says sport chassis, so I'm assuming that's the company that builds this. And what it is, is it looks like a Freightliner diesel truck, crew cab, but with pop-outs. But like pop-outs I've never seen before. I mean, I've never seen a hard shell pop-out that goes up. I've seen the side ones before. But those have always been on, you know, RVs and campers. But this is this is just insane. This is badass. I'm in, like totally in love with this thing. Holy crap! Screw having a regular RV, man. A Class A, forget that. I want one of these. This thing is badass. Check out this uh, Land Rover Defender. This is cool, man. This is old school right here. Troop carrier setup. That is cool. You could sit. I don't know two four six eight maybe eight people back there soft top with the roll cage that is just cool man check out this uh, Jeep JK I like that pop-up tent that's cool it's just part of your Jeep top you take your Jeep top off put this one on it's just a built-in aerodynamic pop-up tent kind of like the old uh, VW Westphalia's this is basically the same thing with the Jeep Hey guys, as you can see, I'm at the Jeep booth at the Overland Expo, and I just signed up to win. How much was it again? Forty-five. Forty-five. They said they're going to give me forty-five thousand dollars to buy any Dodge Chrysler product. Yeah. So wish me luck. Hopefully, I win it. If I win it, I'll uh, show you guys on camera how that all goes down. Check this Dodge truck out. This is pretty badass. Hemi, six point four liter. 2500 heavy duty oh i seen this at sema yeah this one has the uh ram box lockable uh side boxes here which is really cool it's integrated so you can lock your gear up and then back here the uh tailgate i saw this at sema it has a seating platform with the back so you could just sit right here pull up to the edge of a river or a lake and just fish right off the back of this thing that is just cool Check this out. Grand Cherokee. This one has factory lift, bigger tires. 3.0 turbo diesel. That's pretty slick. 
very very cool I actually really like this uh, I normally don't like Grand Cherokees but this one I like it's got the uh, pop-up tent on the roof here's that branch deflector and then you even got a factory winch tucked in there look at that that is cool I like it this is the new renegade this is the first time I've seen a, uh, one of these in person this is one of those love or love it or hate it type vehicles still pretty cool it's super compact tiny if you want something really small but still four-wheel drive it's kind of a limited market out there and who has these little tiny four-wheel drives but Jeep has one pretty cool renegade desert hawk that's pretty cool got a rack up there not a whole lot of ground clearance but then again I mean if you're just tooting around you know fire trails and power line roads and stuff like that you really don't need a lot of ground clearance I would prefer more ground clearance but it, it's it's probably an 80% city vehicle anyways that is capable of going off-road I stopped by this black van here that caught my eye because I've never seen one of these that's four-wheel drive but Ryan here is gonna tell you all about this what's up guys so uh, we're here at the Overland, Overland Expo. You guys are all in your comfy homes. It's freezing cold out here. But, <laughs> and you uh, got you got uh, slippers on. Yeah, but I, that's how I roll. I go everywhere. <laughs> that's hardcore. In fact, I go with nothing except for people <laughs> judge me when I walk around with no shoes on. Um, but yeah, he, he, this is our four-wheel drive van. So it's just a standard Nissan MV3500. Uh, we can get them new or used. We don't care. But if you get it straight from the dealer, they can drop ship it right to us. You can just call the dealer and say, hey, send it to Advance. They'll send it to us from the factory. And then nice. once we get it, we uh, take out all the front end components. We add in our own, you know, IFS differential in the front so that you can actually drive the front wheels. We add a rear transfer case, drive lines that tie it all the way together. We put a floor shifter, 4x4 indicator light, and then when it leaves our shop, you've got a four-wheel drive van. As you can see, I survived the night. And uh, it was a cold one. It was windy, it was snowing, but I made it. It came down pretty good, but the tent held up. I was still nice and warm on my uh, cot. So uh, I used the Goal Zero uh, hand crank lantern, which worked really good. And as you can see, I'm cooking up some breakfast. There's some potatoes, there's some uh, sausage over there. I'm gonna cook up some eggs too. All right guys, so there's breakfast. Potatoes, sausage, and eggs. There he goes. Sportsmobile is famous for converting Ford vans into four-wheel drive expedition vehicles. But as you can see here, they also work on Mercedes. So if you like Mercedes vans, you can have one in four-wheel drive as well. And if you're a Chevy guy, then just give the guys at Advance 4x4 Vans a call and they'll convert a GM van for you. Infidel. Oh. Hey guys, check it out. I'm at Overland Expo at the Benchmade booth. They're showing off all their cool knives and uh, they were telling me that this is a california legal auto opener check it out <laughs> the catch is it has to be tiny to make it legal <laughs> check this out it's a napier truck tent that's pretty cool i like these these are uh, a low cost but high value option for tent camping truck camping off-road camping because you get all the durability and capability of your vehicle, four-wheel drive vehicle, whatever you have. But you also have your tent off the ground, nice and safe. And these are pretty durable too. He's got his rain fly on there so you can protect yourself from the weather when the snow starts coming down. My name is Troy. I'm the owner. Jonathan. And what do you guys got here? This is something cool I've never seen before, by the way. Yeah, we primarily design and build metal fabrication tools for the home fabricator. 
Uh, for the Overland Expo Show, we brought our storage solution lines, and this is a brand new product for us. It's a self-enclosure box for the Honda 2000 generator. Nice. It's designed uh, to be compatible with the generator, with or without this top uh, lid. Uh, the current current lid right here is steel. The production one will be made out of aluminum. You bolt the Honda generator box to this bottom shelf right here. So your Honda is still portable. You'll install that and a puck lock mounts right there. Which is right here. right there. So there's no way you can cut that off. I mean, that you can't get in there to cut that off. And yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, these motorcycles here caught my eye. You know why? Because they're adventure bikes, for one. But these are actually Chinese-made uh, bikes called CSC. I've never heard of these guys before, but they come with a lot of a lot of parts on here, a lot of features that are pretty nice. It's liquid-cooled, fuel-injected. If you know anything about adventure bike riding, you know that the sport itself is really expensive. So to get on one of these for only four thousand dollars is a really good value so I guess the big question is is how reliable are they and how hard is it to find parts this is the prototype Wrangler Africa basically it's a bigger bodied Wrangler with a diesel engine it's got a turbo diesel in there the one that the whole world gets except for us and uh, it's pretty cool Okay, so I'm here at the Overland Expo in the motorcycle section and I met Victor and he's going to tell you about an awesome bike I just I just saw here. What do we got here, Victor? Well, this is the Zero and this is our FX model. The FX is your street legal motocross bike. Uh, range on this bike is about 70 miles of average city driving, about 35 miles of aggressive off-road or highway riding. Uh, the FX is unique in that it has a removable battery pack system you can actually hot swap your battery packs uh, put in a fresh set uh, standard charging on a 110 wall outlet takes about three hours to fully charge wow that's not and, bad uh, three no, hours very, very economical uh, your website if guys want to contact you or, or learn more uh, www.grandcanyoncycles.com that's uh, for our store in Mesa, Arizona uh, or you can go to zeromotorcycles.com it's the factory website Go ahead and introduce yourself to the world. I'm Matt Havner, I'm the founder of Team Overland. And I'm Dominic, I'm the office manager. And tell us what you guys got going on here. We're a nonprofit organization based out of Oregon. We do guided expeditions for veterans. We offer our services free of charge. And we're focused on um, helping veterans reintegrate when they're fresh out of the service. And also we're focused on veterans with post-traumatic stress. Um, our organization is both veteran and civilian. And we think that's important in the reintegration of veterans. Um, we're based out of Southern Oregon, and we found it 10 weeks ago, and this is our first show. Oh, nice. We're, uh, we're just trying to hear, spreading the word, trying to let everybody know what we're all about. And um, we're on Facebook, the Team Overland, Instagram, team, over, team underscore Overland, and our website's teamoverland.org. So if they don't have any skills in overlanding and don't have a vehicle, you guys provide the vehicle too and everything? Yeah, we'll give them a vehicle. You can bring your own vehicle if you want. Oh, okay. Um, if you have a nice you know, rig that you want to bring. Either uh, way. There's no cost to the veterans. If there's no cost to sign up, we offer it all for free, um, and we, we'll, we'll guide them up, show them a good time. We'll that's amazing. Thank yeah, you. that's awesome. Make sure you yeah. check us out, teamoverland.org. We'll find you some eventually. Thanks a lot, guys. All, all right, right, thank you. Thanks. So there you have it, guys. That is what it's like to go to the Overland Expo. As you can see, it is an awesome event if you're into the outdoors, camping, off-road vehicles, and just adventure lifestyle in general. This is an awesome show to go to. And it's really family friendly. You can bring your entire family for a camping trip just like you normally would. But right next door to your campsite, you can go visit one of the biggest outdoor lifestyle events in the United States. And just a reminder, the Grand Canyon is just 70 miles up the road. So what a lot of people do is they combine their overland expo trip with a trip to the Grand Canyon to really make this a trip to remember. So if you guys enjoyed this video, Please leave a comment below and tell me what you thought about it. And don't forget to hit the like button and share my videos with like-minded people. Doing so will help me bring more videos like this to you guys for you guys to enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>